So with Gujarati literature, what you know, again, it has a it has an ancient lineage uh, until about the mid eighteen hundreds. Gujarati literature meant mostly poetry, plays, folk songs, and as you said, the oral traditions, performance-driven oral narratives. Um, and even within poetry, there were lots of different genres, which we don't have to go into. But, you know, Gujarati literature was very rich with with all of those. And then we also had the Buddhist and Jain influences. And so we had religious texts, epics, all of it. Um, so until about the mid-1800s, that's what the main, uh, you know, Gujarati literature, mainly those were the forms. Um, then we started to get, you know, memoirs, biographies, autobiographies, even travelogues, because yeah. Gujarati yeah. people had been traveling for centuries. 